Hey everybody, it's Nick. I am at Bob Wells Nursery at Sorelli Farms with Ed Donnelly. Ed Donnelly. You've met him before and here he is again. They just built a, oh, well, I'd say just built, but <laughs> I just got here uh, to take a look at your Gothic that you've built. You've done some unique stuff with the end walls. Uh, we have a roll-up door, you have a hard side. Uh, not once did you call and say, hey, how do I do this? You took it upon yourself because you wanted it. So I want to hear how you guys came up with the idea and then how it was implemented. So uh, yes, we, we, it was definitely our idea. We knew that this was something that we were gonna be doing on our own. This is not your area of expertise. We were gonna have to figure out. I beg it. your pardon. Pardon? <laughs> I beg your pardon. <laughs> <laughs> I, knew that, I knew that it was gonna be a, a custom project that we were gonna have to figure out. Right. Um, it's something that my wife came up with. She's got, um, she's designed just about everything here at the store with regards to the retail store and the, and the front as opposed to just the general inventory in the back. And she's got a real vision for what she's looking for, the feel she wants to create, how she wants it to look. And so the idea was is that since we're running a nursery and we want it to look nicer than somebody who might just want this in their backyard, she wanted to finish out the, the front facing the store and facing the customers with the board and batten look and the color matches, matches the rest of the store. Right. And then we also thought that the roll-up doors would be a great addition um, just for ease of in and out. And when we, we're, if we want to do events in here, we can. And it just gives it a, a different feel as well. Right. So when it came down to the actual construction, I like the way you guys put it on the outside. So from a structural standpoint, everything was built per the instructions, so you maintain you, the warranty, all that other kind of stuff. You, you made no cuts or no changes. Correct. Everything was built and bolted on on the outside. Correct. And so uh, let's talk about that process. Sure, so we consulted with probably two or three different contractors locally. Uh, I, I will say that, that some of them had some concerns about this because this is definitely out of, out of their normal right. uh, type of project. But uh, we, we discussed using plywood, we discussed using uh, uh, what we ended up with, which, which is the hardy board. We talked about several different materials mm -hmm. and several different ways of applying the skin and the face to the actual exterior. I itself. like the hardy board. I used to sell the hardy board. It's a cement infused board that basically, I think it's got like a 50 year warranty on it. It's crazy. Right. And I see a lot of times if somebody will do like the north end wall, they'll use wafer board. And the thing to remember on wafer board, chip board, OSB, whatever people want to call it, is that that is an, an interior glue. It's mm -hmm. not meant for uh, to be outside. So yeah, it looks fine. I know I'm not going to say it looks great, but it looks fine when you first put it up. But it tends to delaminate over time and correct pretty quick, depending yeah. on, on what's going on with your weather. Exactly. And that's why we chose to go with the hardy board. Uh, our contractor did a very good job of making sure that the frame itself was was solid. We didn't want a lot of uh, movement that would cause additional problems between the contact between the hardy board and the pressure treated wood that we used as the frame. Right. And just looking at it, I mean, I do have building uh, experience. I This is like way overkill. Yeah. I, I would have done something similar, but probably not as much. But I like the look of it. I like that you'll never, I, this will be here well after we're gone correct so so it's it's well built um we're going to take a look at some of the close-up spots and have you just go hey this is how we did it uh talk about the roll-up door a little bit and we'll take a look from the outside sure sounds great so this is the interior of the uh, uh frame that we put up as nick mentioned a moment ago we didn't do anything to the structural integrity of the actual uh hoop house itself everything was attached and bolted on we used self-tapping screws to attach to the uh, uh, attach the pressure-treated wood to the metal, and then we also made connections in between all of the wood pieces, and then overlaid that with the actual hardy board itself. We put in our battens and our trim pieces on the outside after that, and then just finished it off with a coat of paint. And how'd the door get framed up? So on the door, all we did is we took the uh, we used the the regular door frame that comes with the installation kit. And our contractor that we hired was simply able to attach the uh, the door right to that door frame, and there was no no problem with it all. It was a six by seven foot door. We did add a little bit of extra uh, structural integrity here at the top, but other than that, it was just attached directly to the uh, uh, to the to the door frame that comes with the kit. Okay, so our initial idea in having the hoop house was to have a place where we could. Um, house a lot of our plants, but also um, entertain 
So host wedding receptions, or um, we're hoping to have farm to table dinners out here. Um, really a place that just kind of draws people in. That's why we added the landscaping. We want to be able to highlight the, uh, some of the plants that you can grow in our area and the herbs that you can grow in our area um, and ways to use them as part of your landscape. So, so being a nursery and already having quite a bit of infrastructure here, one of the things that we were concerned about is we tend to have, during heavy rains, we have a lot of runoff from this area over here. And we were concerned about water rushing into the, into the greenhouse. So we put a French drain in over on this side of the greenhouse here. Uh, there's a, a pipe underground that collects all the water that sheds down here. It runs underneath the ground in front of the hoop house and comes out about 80 feet down there. And that just keeps any, any water from rushing into the greenhouse or from rushing across the front of the, the landscape for us. And I'm, I'm really glad we did it. It seems to be working well. Uh, it was a last minute idea and it was worth doing. Since we are a nursery, again, we get a lot of traffic through here. We wanted to have a little bit of a different floor as well uh, and, and, and uh, subsurface for people to walk in on. We didn't want it to be just dirt. We are trying to keep the weeds out. And so what we did is we came through and we put down weed barrier along the uh, entire interior floor as well as extended the weed barrier out here to the front and then laid about uh, two to three inches of one inch crushed, crushed rock on top of it. Um, it's a nice stable surface. Some of the problems that you run into with pea gravel is that it's, it's slippery and it tends to move a lot. We wanted it to be nice and tight. Plus, if we're going to be hosting events here, if we're going to be doing farm to table dinners, if we're going to be having wedding receptions and other, other events, having this nice solid surface in here for, for guests and for any equipment uh, is great. Plus, it's going to be a high traffic area. The nice wide doors for us getting, getting plants and, and equipment in and is out in and out was, was important for us as well. So uh, a lot of folks will use these greenhouses for propagation and seed starting, and this will work out perfectly for us as we do that because we do start a lot of seeds here locally at our, at our nursery as well. So we also put in the Edison lights um, as a part of the entertaining factor at night. It's really beautiful. We also made sure that we kept the plastic on the south side of the, the hoop house as well, which is gonna let that light in and give us the warming that we need. The hard sided is on the is on the north side, so we took that into consideration as well when we were planning the location and exactly how we were going to do the wall. And then we've got some features on the outside of the door we want to show as well. One of the other custom uh, custom features that we added on the outside of the door is we put in some wiggle wire across here and down the sides. <laughs> and the idea is that we can roll this plastic down and it creates a really good windscreen for us. As a commercial nursery, it's very important for us to make sure that we're keeping the plants alive when it gets cold. And just making sure that we have an extra boundary of, of being able to keep the wind from blowing in and blowing cold air in, we can roll this down on really cold nights. We just undo the wiggle wire, roll the plastic down, put the wiggle wire back on, and in less than five minutes, the door is, is sealed really nicely. The next day when it warms up, we just come back in, take the wiggle wire off, roll up the plastic, and we're, we're good to go. So uh, we're really excited to be partnered with Bootstrap Farmer on this. Uh, it's been a great project. We've enjoyed building the greenhouse and getting the finished product the exact way that we want it. If you want to come see it or come visit us, if you're looking to plant some trees, plant some fruit trees, uh, trees now's a great time. BobWolfNursery.com is where you can find us. What do you do with your hands? <laughs> <laughs> If you want beef, bring the ruckus. <laughs>